This is News Channel 11. I'm Jenna. I'm Bella. And today we bring you the latest news on the American Revolution. A squad of British men let loose a volley of shots during the Boston Massacre. Three men died immediately and two were killed after. The British official in charge was accused of manslaughter along with eight of his men. Following the Boston Massacre, five delegates got together to draft the Declaration of Independence, which was finished on June 28, 1776 by Thomas Jefferson. Paul Revere was sent to write to Lexington to warn Adams and Hancock that British officials were marching to arrest them. After delivering his message, he was joined by two other writers, Dawes and Prescott. Later, all three were arrested. The war officially began at the Battle of Lexington, where the shot heard around the world was fired. As of right now, it is unclear as to whether the Americans or the British fired the first shot. December 25th of 1776, General George Washington crossed the Delaware River in near frozen conditions to launch a surprise attack on British forces. The battle lasted one hour and only eight Americans were killed, unlike the hundreds of British that died. We will now show footage of reporter Nicole Bright on scene at the Battle of Saratoga. Right now I'm on site of the Battle of Saratoga, which is ensuing right behind me. So far the Americans, led by General Gates, have already stopped the British once at the Battle of Freeman's Farm. The British, led by General Burgoyne, are quickly losing men, but are determined to have a victory for Britain. General Burgoyne has led his forces up New York and are now in full force combat. Back to you in the studio. Nicole is back in the studio to bring us the latest news on the outcome of the Battle of Saratoga. General Gates has achieved a crucial victory for America. He and his fellow officers soundly defeated the British and German forces in Saratoga County, New York. Here are the numbers for the British and American armies. There were 440 deaths, 6,290 were captured, and 740 were wounded. For America, there were 90 deaths, 360 were wounded, and none were captured. This battle was significant because France then recognized America as a threat, and it showed that America was not a country to be messed with. On the 19th of October, 1781, the British surrendered to the Americans at the Battle of Yorktown. As of now, we are an independent country. Breaking news, George Washington has just signed the Constitution. We go live to Rochelle Griffith reporting outside of the Constitutional Convention. Hi, I'm here in Philadelphia on September 17th, where 39 delegates joined together for the signing of the Constitution. I'm joined with George Washington, who has just got done signing. George, as the president of this convention, how do you feel about those 16 individuals who did not sign and left early? Well, many of them feared a strong central government. They believed in having free, independent, sovereign states. They're all entitled to their own opinions, and many of them had separate personal reasons for not signing, but I believe this is best for our country. And what will this constitution do for the people of America? With this constitution, America will have a federal government with limited power over the people. This document will explicitly state the rules and regulations of this new government, and will allow the states to enforce these rules on it. Thank you, George. Back to you in the studio. That's all for today, folks. See you next week when we discuss the consequences of war. Right now I'm on site of the Battle of Saratoga. Which is... <laughs> has led his troop up New York. Oh my God. Following the Boston Massacre... <laughs> I think you used to another sentence. My brain just shuts down. were wounded and 740 were no I did that backwards sorry <laughs> I'm here in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I need to relax my teeth. <laughs> this is hot. Okay.